Welcome to GreyPrimer.com. My name is Nick. I'm your host, and on today's episode, it's all about citadels, Volkite Berserkers. I'm probably saying that wrong. Volkite Berserkers. Why can't I say that right? Ugh. a love-hate thing with dwarfs. Some of the minis out there are very static looking. Some of them are nice and active. Some have beards that are way too long. Some of them are, have faces that are hidden behind masks. Uh, this one seems to be getting it pretty much just right. They've got beards. They've got a little bit of armor. Actually, I think these are mostly naked. But... They're, they're armed. Does that count? And they have huge plumes on top of their heads. So that probably counts as clothing. And a helmet. And I think a loincloth. But mostly their modesty is maintained by their long and flowing beards. Let's have a closer look. Ugh. Back soon. Alrighty, folks. So these are the Volkite Berserkers from the Fire Slayers army, I guess, um, from Age of Sigmar, Warhammer's Age of Sigmar. Ten Citadel miniatures manufactured by Games Workshop. Uh, some really nice box art there. These guys are pretty awesome. Yeah, looking forward to these. Usual stuff on the sides. We've got a breakdown of what you get in the box. Um, the types of paints they'd like you to, or suggested sort of paint schemes. Ooh, that bladed sling shield looks very cool. Well, we got fire steel war pick. Nice. Her gold runes. Oh, were they on the actual sculpt? Nice, nice idea. Fire steel throwing axe. There's a fire steel hand axe. Wow, the, the way they've painted these is just stunning. Absolutely stunning. I'm always looking out for these. See these little details that, that they put onto this, these flaps, these tabs or whatever they are? It's such a little thing but it just makes me happy to see them. That someone goes to that, does that, oh, it's a different one on this side. Like someone has that level, that attention to detail, that they do little touches like this that, that a lot of people wouldn't even notice. I just think it's, it's just brilliant. It just shows that someone absolutely loves what they're doing. And when they're design, designing the, the box art and stuff, they just think, well, we could add a little extra in here. Just for a touch. Ah, oh, they're, they're all over these runes, actually. <laughs> Love it. Thank you, Games Workshop. That made me happy. Okay, let's tip all this out. Nothing in there. We got two split sprue, or one sprue split in half, and then two complete ones. Uh, and then we have some 32 mil bases. Instruction book. Okay, straightforward. So it's actually a triple, triple sprue like that. And to fit it in, they, they cut these bits off. Right, okay. Now I get you. Now I understand. So that means we could discard those two because it's just basically this triple panel duplicated. We good? We're good. So we'll look at the single one first. Let's get some more light in the action here. Okay. That's that cool weapon. It was talked about in the box art and that's those picks. This is pretty much the back of everything, so we'll just quickly go through it and then flip it over. Oh, nice level of detail on there. Like all these runes and everything. Cool axes. Like a little lantern or something? I don't know. Wow. 
was not expecting the runes and the skin, this branding. Okay, like that. Oh, cool axes. I mean, completely pointless in battle. They're just going to be so fragile with all of those spaces in them. As well as that, they're going to get snagged in every shard of... This is going to get gross, so buckle up. Every bit of bone, if you put that through someone's body, and you're breaking through rib cage or through, you know, an arm or leg or something, all those shattered bits of bone are just going to snag on that. You're going to put that into someone, and it's going to stay there. Sorry, that got gross. But really, I know, I, I get the ornamental sort of, you know, it, it's pretty looking, but not practical. That beard, though, is super practical. <laughs> These beards are great. Look at that one. I'm so jealous of those beards. Uh, more ornamental axes. Little axe. Now, that one's probably going to be fine. They all joke as they're leaving the camp in the morning is whoever's carrying this little fella. They're like, oh, blast him with his tiny axe. Look at us with our gigantic. And the first time they hit someone with that, that that's the axe stuck for the rest of the battle. And this this one here will keep on going. And then these ornamental sort of head pieces. Oh, there's beautiful detail on those. That, that I did not pick up from the looking at the box art. Look at the detail in those. That's... Oh, that's just the highest level. Scales and what, maybe a dragon or something there. Beautiful. Ah, uh, there. They're stunning. We'll flip that one over because you can see the detail. Uh, more uh, ornamental sort of things here for their armor. Uh, what little armor they, armor they have. I think these boys are mostly buck naked. Goodness me. We are in the golden age of miniatures, aren't we? When someone can put that amount of detail. And you can see how zoomed in that is. That's cracking. Cracking design. The quality of the sculpts is, is exceptional. And they're just crazy little naked dwarves looking to cause some serious damage to anything they come up against. Love it. Absolutely love it. So I'll get them built and I'll be back. Bye. And we're back. So here are the fully built Volkite Berserkers. Uh, these are being added to a dwarf Blood Bowl team. So I clipped off all the weapons, but I was impressed going through a lot of different variations on the weapons. Um, I really like the way the uh, the options on the arms, the weapons, the heads, the loincloths, the plumes on the top as well. Lots of variables there, are variations for making these minis the way you want to make them. I find them to be beautifully put together. Uh, lots of expression, lots of movement, sort of, sort of that feeling of them, many of them being in full sprint. Uh, I just thought they were really cool. Um, but... Yeah, uh, and spares as well, which I would think, I think, I mean, that's always important to have a few extra bits knocking around. So if you want to steal them for, say, a Dreadball Dwarf team to make them look a bit more interesting, you've got, you're left with a few options there. I'd be tempted almost to get a second set of these Volkite Berserkers. I think they're just cracking. Let's just have a look. Right, look at that great detail on the beard and all of these uh, sort of dragon details, I guess, on the, the plume on top of the helmet there. You can see where it sort of carved out the hand to take away the weapon. Um, that's something that I, I, I do with varying levels of success. Sometimes they look kind of weird. These look okay. I guess ideally I'd like to stretch the fingers out on this. Um, and there's probably a way to do that, but I just haven't worked it out yet. Uh, to make the fingers look like, you know, sort of, rather than like that, that they're they're like that, or, or sort of a little bit curved out. There's probably a way to sculpt that that I just don't have the finesse for. Maybe I should practice that, you know, practice building little hands. But, uh, nope, I mean, really great. I think apart from the loincloth and the helmet, they're buck naked. 
I guess they got these wristbands as well, these heavy metal wristbands. And tons of expression. And the beards, I think, are just at that rank, right length. They're uh, telling you they're firmly dwarfs, but uh, that they're not so overgrown in the beard that it would end up tripping them on the battlefield. You can see some of the rune details on these guys, the, the branding that's on their skin. Um, and I mean, look at the stance. Even if this was, and, and there, there's more runes on the back as well. So that, if anyone's going to make you berserk, it's a brand that size sticking into your back. Um, but you can see sort of like, I guess this guy would have had twin axes or something. Let's see if we can find them here. Is that him there? Yeah, so there would have been twin axes, I guess, in his hands or twin weapons. Um, but there's something about this that works for Blood Bowl. You can just imagine this guy in the scrimmage line, you know, like, just come at me, you know? <laughs> it's very cool. And another different pose here. This one looks like he's mid-throw on a spear or perhaps a football. Um, but lots of lovely detail in the beard again, around the helmet. I mean, you could pick out a lot of that detail with a sort of a delicate wash. And I just love this, the movement in the legs. And there's a wee lump there on the ground, just to sort of that contact point for attaching it to the base. But um, when I get these covered in mud and grass, you're never gonna, never gonna see it. And, yep, another pose there again, with the right leg back. And uh, this one I left bald. So the ones, there's there's helmets here which have a double plume on them. Now, I didn't actually use any of the double plumes, but you can see it here on the box. This is it here. And I think maybe they only have one example. Let's see if there's a clearer example on the back. Yeah, so you can see the split of it there. So that split actually is a two-part piece that includes half a helmet on each piece. So you can only use that uh, variation on the uh, dwarfs that have no hair and no helmet. This one here. But there was something about them without the helmet on that I really liked. I just thought that they were even more sort of berserk looking, you know, that not only are they going into battle almost naked, they've they've left their helmet at home, uh, which I thought was very cool. Let's see the next one. Oh yeah, that's neat. Another mid-run. You know, it doesn't, you don't have to be going crazy with your, the poses and stuff when you're sculpting these. Something as simple as this character in, just, just in a just about to start running, it gives it all that feeling of motion and rather than sort of all of the static poses you see. I think that's really cool. Another helmet variant there, I don't think we've seen that one so far. That one's got a wee braid at the back of a ponytail. And again, great detail throughout. Nice, uh, Easy to, I say, I was gonna say easy to paint eyes, but I, I can see the eyes. I'm not sure if that makes them easy to paint, but at least they're they're well defined eyes. You can you can tell where they are. Another one of these come at me, bro, kind of postures. Could also be a skydiver, but no, I don't think dwarf skydiving team. Sigmar Division. I don't think so. Let's see, we got more glorious beards. I do get beard envy with these guys. I must have a look on Pinterest to see all the different paint jobs that people have done on their dwarf beards. Because I'm sure there's some fantastic um, variations. I mean, all the ones in this box have sort of red beards, uh, which is fantastic for um, contrast. It gives a lovely contrast to the, the skin tone and the dark armor and, and weaponry. Um, but I wonder if there's any sort of 
variations out there on the internet that show different colors. But the temptation to paint them all red beards is, is great. I'm sure, because they do look dramatic. And there we go. That's the last one. Yeah, I'm very pleased. The process of putting them together was a lot of fun. And I think that the detail they've got into the faces, the helmets, the beards, uh, it's, yeah, really um, top level. And um, yeah, I look forward to putting them along, alongside the other dwarfs from the Dwarf Giant Blood Bowl team. Uh, I think they'll, they'll fit in right beside them, no problem at all. So, big thumbs up. Uh, loving these Fire Slayers, Valkai Berserkers. But next time on GreyPrimer.com, we have the unboxing of Kaman's huge miniatures uh, dungeon crawler, Massive Darkness. Uh, looking forward to getting into that. Looking forward to maybe even playing it at some point because it has a one player mode. And we'll see how we get on with that. But thank you for joining me today. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And uh, you can check out all of the details below for Facebook and Instagram and our merchandise store. and our affiliate link and also don't forget to comment it's really great to hear from you and enjoy the rest of your day take care now bye bye